Shalom, friends. This is the Kiva Gersh with Israel in 5, and I want to invite you to bring Israel into your home throughout the year with the amazing and stunning Meir Panim calendar. This calendar will keep you connected to Israel throughout the year with its listed Jewish holidays and Israeli national holidays, and especially through its 16 beautiful, breathtaking professional photographs of various historical and biblical sites around the land of Israel, each one accompanied by amazing facts about each one. Some of these photographs, in fact, have been taken by an IDF soldier, giving you that very, very unique vantage point that only an IDF soldier can give. This makes a perfect gift for family members and friends who love Israel, who love the Bible, who love history. And the best part of it all, it's free. By making a donation to Mayor Panim, you will get this calendar for free. It's shipped worldwide. You can give it to family members or friends. Keep it for yourself as a way to keep connected to Israel all throughout the year. Just go to israel5.org forward slash calendar or click on the link below to make a donation to Mayor Panim and keep Mayor Panim doing its amazing, incredible work that it always does and needs to continue to do specifically for IDF soldiers and for evacuated families deeply affected by this war. Again, go to israel5.org forward slash calendar or click on the link below to make a donation to Mayor Panim, get this amazing and stunning calendar and stay connected to Israel all throughout the year. Today, we're continuing our weekly exploration of the 12 tribes of Israel. This week, we're focusing on the tribe of Zebulun, the tribe of merchants. Let's explore them together. Shalom, my friends. This is Akiva Gersh with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in 5 minutes. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. Last week, we learned about the tribe of Issachar, which, is, which was the tribe of Torah scholars. And while every Jew has an obligation to spend some time each day engaged in Torah study, the tribe of Issachar was known for many, many Torah scholars who spent most of their day, if not all their day, day after day, engaged in the study of deep Torah knowledge and wisdom. And how were they able to do this? Because they partnered with the tribe of Zebulun. The tribe of Zebulun was uh, known as the tribe of merchants, of business people, people who were out on the sea, trading and buying, buying and selling with neighboring countries, peoples, and empires. And the money that they earned, they used in order to represent and to show their great love for Torah study by supporting the Torah scholars of the tribe of Issachar. Now, they could have used their money in many, many different ways by building themselves beautiful homes and, and acquiring great material things to fill their lives with. But instead, what they did is they said, ah, we have money. With this money, we are going to support the tribe next to us, the tribe of Issachar, who has spent its days and is spending its days in deep Torah study. And that is the greatest expression of their love for the Torah. And though while they too did have an obligation to learn Torah every day, single day, and they did, because they were business people, because of their jobs, because of their lifestyle, because they were merchants and they were traveling and they're on the sea very, very often, they weren't able to uh, dedicate the amount of time to Torah study that the neighboring tribe of Issachar did. But they were the ones who funded them, who made it possible for the tribe of Issachar to do such a thing. The tribe of Issachar needed to live. They needed money for their families, for their homes, for their food, for all of the basic needs that they had in their lives. And it was the tribe of Zebulun who really made sure that they did not lack anything. And it's a real great um, merit in the Jewish world. It's looked at as a really um, incredible thing, a great honor even, to be able to use one's money to support the Torah study of another. And this ancient Jewish value, practice, and custom still exists till, until today. You see many wealthy religious Jews who, who uh, contribute, who give a significant amount of their income and their wealth to, to various Torah scholars, to Torah academies, to schools, to institutions that are focused on the dissemination of Torah education. And so we see this beautiful ancient practice uh, alive and well in the modern day Jewish world. In addition to being supporters of the study of Torah, uh, the, the tribe of, of Zulun was also out there in the world with a very unique opportunity to make what we call in Hebrew a Kiddush Hashem, to sanctify the name of God uh, out there in the world. Uh, beyond the walls of the, of, the, of the house of Torah study to really bring the values, the teachings, the ideals 
the, the wisdom of the Torah out into the world with the people that they meet, the places that they go, the transactions that they are involved with. It's very easy when someone's in the world of business to want to cut corners, make a few extra money, uh, dollars here, a few extra dollars there. But by using their values and the laws that they learned and the teachings that uh, were passed down to them by their, by their, by their teachers, right, of honesty and of trust, and of justice, they were able to go out into the world and be real examples of, of what a person can be in the world in general, and specifically as a business person or as a merchant, being fair and being honest and not cutting corners and not stealing and definitely not lying. So we have this double kind of facet of the tribe of Zebulun, of both being great supporters of others and their Torah study, but also great examples of what the Torah wants from us, and what kind of people the Torah wants us to be. All the best and be well.